Hello everyone, part 7 already. Today I'm going to show you how to make it only possible to focus on data act if we're inside of this box. So if we're trying to focus from here, it's not possible, but if we're moving inside a box, we can interact. So let's start by opening up one of our test interaction actors and go here to the viewport, add a new box collision, and move it a bit here to the front and scale it a bit down. So that's the box our character needs to stand in to be able to focus the interaction actor here. Can be useful if it should be only interactable from one side. And but it it's it's a completely optional feature so in the end you don't need you don't have to add a box here you just can if you want to have this feature enabled so here in the box scroll down to the collision presets and change it to custom set everything to ignore so this box should only overlap with our characters and usually the character ca capsule components have as collision preset here pawn so I will, dis I will set only this to overlap. Then next step, also in the box, search here for tags and add here a new element to the tags. And I will add here the box tag. So similar as the widget component, it will be connected to our interaction area, but in a different way with the tag. And I will show you now how to do that. So after you've added here the tag, go to the interaction area master. And here in event graph, and event begin play. I want to get here the parent actor, then get components by tag. As tag we're choosing the same as here, we can copy it here to make sure it's exactly the same. Choosing your box. As component class, we can take a shape component. We could also take box collision, but shape component includes a bit more like capsule component, sphere component. If you maybe want to use this, this instead of a box. Uh, so get here index zero. I'm going to check here if it's valid because I said it's an optional feature. So if it's not valid, so if you don't have a box added, then it doesn't matter. But if it's valid, I want to store it in a variable. So here, promote to variable, call it box ref on this valid. While I'm doing this, we could actually do the same for the widget, so we don't need to use the interface and we'll just make it a bit more easy to set up in the end because here we had here the, for example, the get interaction widget ref interface function, get function here. So we don't need to do this anymore. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I will show you also how to do it with the widget. So click here on the widget, search for tags, and as tag, I will add interact, compile, and then go back to our interaction area master. Hold here S, and left click to add a sequence. So just search for a sequence. So first pin will set up our box collision and the second one will we can duplicate these two nodes be for our widget component so as component class I'm searching here for widget component as tag I'm choosing interact getting here again index zero and we can promote this directly to a new variable call it interact widget component ref because we don't need a valid here because we will have this interaction widget in 
every interactable actor anyways. Uh, right, so now here's still the interface implemented and we can now delete the interface function, see what happens. So go here to our interaction interface, get interaction widget ref, delete it, yes. And if we're going back now to our interaction area master, you see, got here an error. Was the old get widget function? We delete this and using instead our directly our interaction widget component ref. Connect it again. If we're going back to our, uh, if we're going open up here our interaction trace actor component, you would see we're also getting here the same error can again remove these two nodes. Just from our focused interaction area, get the interact widget component ref, connect it with the get widget and connect this again. Now if you're going to, for example, our test actor, you see there's still the function, but it's not existing anymore here. Guess we can delete it so we don't get any problems and can close this, but yeah, the function is away now. It's the same for our for our other actor. As you can see, we have still here the problems or this old function. You can delete and close it. Also, what I just saw, we have here some problems. Don't know what happened there. Some empty interactable interaction area boxes. So I'll delete them. I will also delete our old test actors here from the outliner and add a brand new one. Um, here, this one. Move it also a bit up that we can see here our test interaction, uh, our box where the character needs to be in. Okay, so next step is maybe do. Checking of if our character is actually standing in this box. To do that, we can go to our interaction area master. And in here, we're adding a new function and call it can focus. And we're adding a new variable. And we'll name it character needs to be in box. This will check if this box feature is enabled. We're adding here a new output bool and call it kind of focus also maybe. So if this is disabled, it should be able to focus from everywhere. But if that is enabled, we want to check here, we're going to get our box ref. Check here with is overlapping actor if it's overlapping our character. So other will be character direct from the other on our can focus node here add a pin can leave it on actor but maybe rename it rename it to character so the return value we can plug it in here to a new return node duplicated this one and like so also here press on can focus and set the function to pure and save. Now we can implement this function in our interaction trace actor component. Here we can go to our trace interaction area and here after we first cast it to the new interaction area master on tracing before actually triggering the focus functions before setting here the reference we want to check if we can focus. So get here this function we just created, can focus. Then right click get owner because this character is part of our character. The get owner is our character and connect it here with the character. Then 
check here, just with the branch, can focus to wanna focus as before. False, we wanna unfocus. So take this false pin and drag it to this branch here. Is tracing and acting in the action area. Okay. Compile and save again. Um, let's go to our test actor again. Maybe test playing. You can see we can trace from everywhere because we haven't uh, activated this feature yet. So let's go here in our child actor default and say character needs to be in the box. Compile and save. Try. Doesn't work. Here you see it doesn't work, but if we're going from the side somewhere or from, from down, it works. But if we are still focusing and leaving, we're still focusing. So you have to imagine here is the box. If we're focusing and going out of the box, we're still focusing, but we don't want it. So if we're going back here, it's not working, but we want to reset the trace somehow until we left the box. Please check again if it's still valid to focus here. How can we do this reset? Um, let's go here to our... Um, let's add here a new interface function. Call it reset interaction trace. Compile and save. We can close this. So now in our interaction area master and event graph, where we're setting up the box, we can make use here of the box ref and can create bindings. Search for assign overlap, assign on component begin overlap. Get a new box ref and assign on component and overlap. Okay. And here, because this box is only sensitive for our characters, we know a character will overlap, so the other actor will be character. Make sure you're not choosing here other component, other actor. So in other actor, we want to trigger this interface function we created, reset interaction trace. And here other actor also reset interaction trace. Other actor here for both on begin overlap, on end overlap. Then go to our um, interaction trace actor component and create here a new function. What we saw call it also reset trace. And it should be enough to set the focus actor on false. So it will trigger again things that there's another actor and then it will trigger again. So reset. Um, let's go to our character. And in here, in class settings, add a new uh, or add the BI interaction interface here. Then we can implement the reset interaction trace event, can get our interaction trace reference from the component here and reset the trace. Compile and save. Uh, before we test and test if it works, I want to show you something that you should note. Um, the thing is with the our test shape and our interaction area. So if here, not, not this one, uh, test interaction actor, for example. So here, if you're going here to the child actor, to the defaults tab, Mm. If we're changing here some data and compile and save, everything works as it should be. 
But if we're going now to this child actor, the interaction area master, and we've also here some default values. Interaction duration 0 seconds, character doesn't need to be in. If we're compiling now the interaction area master and playing, you will see we can we can interact from every side and we don't need to be in the box. But if we're looking here, for the child actor here and in this actor, it's ticked. It's ticked. So I guess that's a weird bug uh, because of the early state of animation 5. Um, so whenever we, as lastly, uh, compiling the interaction area, compiling here this, this child actually, it will override the values when we're playing with the default ones, even though here we have these values. So make sure that the test interaction actor is, or our interaction interactable actors in general, are compiled after the interaction area master. So if we're compiling now here this one, you see we can't interact. If we're going in, in this box here, you see we can interact now. Let's still focus. We are leaving the box and we can't interact anymore. Going in again, you see this works works fine. And yeah, let's turn and turn turn on the the lighting to end this series. Guess that were all tutorials. Um and Hope you're happy, also happy as me with the result. So thank you very much for following the series, for watching it, and see you in the next tutorials. Have a great day.